Raw Power 3 now has ratings, flagging, and filtering. These features are basically the same whether you use Raw Power's file browser or its ability to read and write the photos library. There are a few differences which I'll go into during this video. The basic idea of rating, flagging, and filtering raw power is that you can pick any image or set of images and set a rating on a five-point scale, five-point star scale, along with unrated and rejected. There is also a flag that you can turn on and off for an image. There are many ways to apply a rating. You can use the menus in the toolbar, as I was just doing. You can right-click and pick it from a menu here, or just use a single keystroke. Those of you who used Aperture will notice that the keystrokes are exactly the same as Aperture used. If you're using the file browser, it also supports Finder tags. A Finder tag is something you can set on a file in the Finder. Raw Power reads those in and synchronizes them so any changes you make in either the Finder or in Raw Power is reflected in the other. For example, this first image here has a red tag on it. If I want to add a yellow tag to this image, I can right click and pick yellow. If I view that in the Finder, you'll see that there's a red and yellow tag right here. You can't add and remove tags if you're browsing the Photos Library because the Photos Library does not support the idea of color tags. In contrast, when using the Photos Browser, you get one feature, though you don't get tags, and that is you get ratings albums. As you can see here, these are all albums, flagged, rejected, and the five stars. These are actual Photos Library albums. Changes that you make to ratings are actually changing an album and those are automatically updated in Photos. And if you're using iCloud Photo Library, those changes will synchronize over iCloud to your other devices. That also works in raw power for iOS. So you can rate on iOS or Mac, and all of that will synchronize through albums and through iCloud Photo Library. I'll demonstrate that right now. This is the three-star album. If I take this sunset picture here and I change it to a two-star image, it'll disappear from here and it'll go to the two-star album. I will show you what happens. If you look in photos, here's a three-star album and that same image. I'm going to change this to a two-star image. It disappears, go to photos, and it's gone. Let's talk about filtering. To filter, click this button in the toolbar. You can filter images by five characteristics in the file browser and four in the Photos Library because Photos Library doesn't have tags. You can select a rating, for example, two star, and then flagging, file type, edit state, and tags. You can choose between having all of the criteria being matched or any. So you might think of that as and, and the any is like an or. Filters are saved with folders and with albums so that uh, if you come back to this, you will see the exact same view the next time. To make it clear what's going on, the filtering button lights up and it describes the actual filter down here at the bottom. That's a quick view of ratings, flagging, and filtering. Thank you.